In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a wireless doorbell. So we bought this doorbell on Amazon. It's from Honeywell. And we're going to start the installation by throwing in some AA batteries. These batteries are not included, so you will need to get them. Um, just four of them for this. For the uh, push button itself, uh, this particular model does come with a battery. It's a little watch size battery. And so we're just going to pop open the back of this with a flathead screwdriver and snap in the battery. So if this ever, battery ever wears out, you can just go get a new one at the drugstore. Goes back on with a little flathead again. So to test it, I'm going to push the button, make sure it's mated to the receiver. And we'll know it works because it dings. So the chime works, we're all set. Um, I just wanted to show you what the side of this um, receiver looks like. It's got a bunch of different buttons. The, the, um, there's one with a musical note that changes the, ch the chime sound. And so you can set it to a, a bunch of different options. Um, and to advance it, you gotta have to hit the button and then um, hit it while the chime is sounding. There's also a volume up and volume down setting. Um, and so you can sort of pick what sound you want to have when the doorbell rings. You can also mate it to other doorbells, other buttons, if you get a separate button. Um, so you can have one for the front door, one for the back door, and, and so forth. Um, there's also a strobe light button. And um, so when you hit the button, the, the strobe light will flash. And you can disable that and turn that back on. Uh, so with it, with it off, it, it, it won't flash at all, and then you can just, um, so if you want it in a dark spot at night or in your room, uh, you, can, you can have the flash, the strobe light work. So to install um, the speaker, we can, it comes with a little bracket that you would install on the mount to the wall with a couple screws, and they give you the screws and the hardware to do that. Um, for our house, we're just going to put this in the front of the vestibule and uh, we'll figure that out later. Now before we go on to the rest of this, um, you need to disable your transformer if you have an existing old doorbell system and you need to disconnect it from the power. You kill your power at the circuit breaker and just pull the wires out. And um, so that'll kill the, the volt, any current that's in the system. And we're going to need to do that because we're going to take the button off. Uh, and if you wanted to go on, if, so if you're replacing an old doorbell system, you, you, you can remove, you have to remove the button if you want to put the, the new one in the same spot. And you should probably remove the chime at some point. So that's why we want to remove the transformer as well, because that's what's providing power to this system. And so I'm just going to unscrew the doorbell button from the front of my house with a screwdriver. And I'm going to swish it around to a flathead and, and pry it off, because it's been sitting there for about eight or nine years. Um, and that's just on screws. There's a couple screws in the back and I can just use my screwdriver to disconnect the wires. Uh, now with the power off, I can snip the wires and make sure those wires are back in that hole. And I'm gonna use some caulk. This is some urethane caulk. You can use silicone uh, to fill and to plug that hole. So no water gets behind the doorbell when it rains. And, and then I don't, I don't want any water intrusion or anything rotting out um, any of the door jam stuff. So I'm gonna plug that with some caulk. Um, and I'm just going to wipe away the excess. So now my, my uh, door jam is, is pretty tight. It's pretty watertight anyway. Um, next, uh, this particular doorbell kit comes with a bracket to mount the doorbell. And so you could either have it around uh, or you can, you know, obviously mount it to the front of your house. Um, and so I'm going to reuse the, the top hole from my old doorbell. And I'm going to use the screws that came in the kit here. And I'm going to screw this into the door jam. I don't need um, a cordless drill for this part, but my second hole, I'm gonna need to pre-drill. It doesn't line up with my old doorbell hole, so I'm going to um, use a small drill bit that's just a little smaller than the diameter of the screw, and I'm just gonna give that a hole, and that, that, that basically gives the, the screw something to, to start into. And so I can take this, the other screw and, and just fasten it into the, the, the jam uh, again, you just using a screwdriver and some hand strength here. There's no, you don't need to use a, I didn't need to use a cordless drill to, to drill this in, but you, you know, you could if you want. Um, so that just goes right in like that. This is all pretty easy. This is probably the easiest DIY video I'm going to have on my channel. It's all very straightforward stuff. Uh, now the button just clips on 
and you could always unclip it if you like to. And so we're going to test it uh, just by hitting the button, see if it works. And so I decided to move the, the chime into a more uh, public area of the house, further and closer to where we are with the TV, because I don't think it's quite loud enough, but uh, you know, you put it where you want to. So uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and give us a like.